Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a buffalo. I'm going to take two fingers from the top in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, go back to the dot, curve line down on the right. I come back to the left <clears throat> and I draw a wavy, 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 wavy line down. Come on the right hand side, draw another wavy, 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 wavy line down, connect. Come back to the left, I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, come on the right, draw a straight line down, curve line over, connect. I come back up on the left and I draw a curve line up, in, connect, on the left, Come on the right hand side, draw me a curve line up, in, connect on the right. Right about here in the center, I'm going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. At the bottom, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. I draw a little curve line at the very bottom and I add one baby circle two baby circles. I come on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, connect on the left, curve line up, curve line down on the right. I come back on the left and I'm going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line. Keep going all the way down. I come on the right hand side and I draw another wavy, 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 wavy line all the way down, connect. Right here in the center I'm going to draw another smaller wavy, wavy, wavy line up, connect. I come up to the top and I'm going to add some little wavy lines going down towards the center intermittently and I'm going to take one more line there. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this. The first thing I'm going to do is take my black crayon and color in my eyes and color in my nostrils and then I'm going to use a variety of browns from my multicultural crayons and color my buffalo with a range of browns. So I start off with tan for the center I'm going to take my brown crayon and lightly color this section of the face. And I'm going to put a little bit of brown on the fur on top and the beard around the bottom. Now we're going to do a series of colors of browns to really make my buffalo pop. Now I come in with a different color brown and go over the first set of colors that I do and I'm going to emphasize the beard part and the top. I come in with a little bit of gray, add that to the mix because I'm layering on color on the top and the bottom around his beard. Keep going. Now I'm going to come in and with my darker brown. I'm going to even come in darker now over the top of everything. Now to add a little bit of texture I'm doing what we call a loop-de-loop -loop line which is basically like here on the top I'm just adding circles after circles of color. I'm going to do that on the top, a little bit on the outside rim of my buffalo and then the last thing I do is I come back in with my black crayon and I lightly add some loop-de-loops -loops across the top on the beard leaving the inside section pretty much of a light brown. Layering colors. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my buffalo all colored in 
you can see that I did layer after layer after layer of loop-de-loop -loop lines in color and he's part of the Old West, the legends of the Old West, Native Americans and the Cowboys. Okay, bye-bye.